You know the old saying, when one door closes, another one opens? In a blog entry below, I discuss how losing and loss is really just the first phase of a transition. The problem is that I've tended to see the loss, a pet, a close friend, divorce, other life-changing events, as terminal. Door slammed, locked, impenetrable. It's like my first response is to stand outside the door in a rage trying to bang my way back in. Why do I insist on getting back to the other side of that door? What I've known is always more comfortable than what I don't know. That's the perfect definition of a knower, judger, comfort zone. It's that piece of me that believes I've got all the answers. How dare life take one of my answers away from me? I want my answer back. Getting beyond closed doors requires me to let go. Let go of what I think is fair. Sometimes it's letting go of what I think is right. In my case, these concepts are self-derived. They're mine and mine alone. They're feelings I house that I interpret as facts. And those feelings are part and parcel of my knower judger. Some people call this a script. It's how I explain things to myself. Perhaps you do as well. There's a story often told in church about the guy who finds himself being swept down a swollen river in increasing mortal danger every moment he stays in the water. As he's whisked under a bridge, a potential rescuer throws a rope over into the water and yells, grab it! No thanks, comes the reply. The Lord will save me. Soon a boat motors up in the chaos, offering to pull him from certain death. Again comes the reply. No thanks. The Lord will save me. And finally, three men, at great peril to themselves, leverage a large tree branch out over the watery maelstrom and offer, Grab this, or you will surely die. Again, no thanks. The Lord will save me. And he drowns. Upon arrival at the pearly gates, our hero implores of his Lord, Why am I here? You were supposed to save me. And the Lord replies, I sent you a rope, a boat, and a branch, and you chose none of them. What were you waiting for? By continuing to bang on that closed door, am I not ignoring other doors opening all around me? No, maybe I don't see my rescue as a rope, a boat, or a branch. That's because I have a preconceived notion as, a, as to what my rescue is supposed to look like. So I miss all the others. If my only perceived path to health is back through that door I'm banging on, then doors opening all around me will likely get ignored. My solution as I travel this journey has been to do what I can to shorten the time between when a door closes and when I let go of that door and start looking around for all the other doors or ropes or boats or branches. To quote the English folk singer Pete Morton's song, there's another, train. There's another train. There always, there always is. is. Maybe the next one Maybe is yours. The next one is Get yours. up and climb aboard, Get up and climb another, aboard train. another train. Standing in the tracks, watching the one you missed go out of sight could be dangerous. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity. Your own breath is king, the beginning is now.